My name is Amelia and this is the Little Listener's Library. Today I am going to read a book called What the Ladybird Heard by the author Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Lydia Monks. So get comfy. Are you ready? Let's go. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow and a ladybird. And the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay said the horse. Oink said the hog. Baa said the sheep. And woof said the dog. One cat meowed while the other one purred. And the ladybird said never a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, This is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate at dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the little spotty ladybird, who never before had said a word, told the animals, This is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at dead of night, pass the horse, and then turn right, round the duck pond, past the hog, being careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck, hiss said the goose, and quack said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog, ba said the sheep, woof, said the dog, and both the cats began to We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered it into each animal ear. At dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, with all her might and Len said that's the horse turn right and the dainty dog began to quack the duck said you we're right on track wake said the cats there goes the hog be careful not to wake the dog ba 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 said the fat red hen the sheep were nearly there said Len Then the duck on the pond said, Moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splosh! And the farmer woke and said, Golly gosh! And he called the cops and they came, Nino! And they threw the thieves in their panda car. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay said the horse. Oink said the hog. Baa said the sheep. Woof said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word. I think that's a lovely story about all the farm animals working together as a team. I wonder, have you ever been to a farm and seen any of the animals? 
the animals in this book had a cow, a sheep, a horse, a hog, some ducks and some cats, and of course the ladybird. You could tell a grown-up or a friend about which animal is your favourite to go and see at the farm. And why is it your favourite? I would love to hear your ideas. I hope you enjoyed the book and I'll see you soon.